Science is the foundation of the world we live in. Scientists and their curiosity have helped us live longer and has brought mankind on the edge of future. And to celebrate India's contribution to the field of science, Kala Salingam University in Anand Nagar, Tamil Nadu organized a two-day science exhibition. Arila 2015 on February 27th and 28th to mark the National Science Day. We are celebrating this National Science Day to give our tribute to the Indian scientists and scientists. Dr. K. S. Krishan, who belongs to this particular area, and all the scientists who have been history in science. The university set up by T. Kala Salingam in 1984 near the towering Western Ghats focuses on inculcating the spirit of research and innovation amongst its students. The 320-acre sprawling campus has modern facilities to provide world-class education in the heart of rural Tamil Nadu. Kala Salingam University vision is to create a center of excellence of international repute in education and research. By this, the student will be highly motivated and not only in education and research, we make them to create the overall responsible citizen in all avenues for the benefit of their career in the days to come. Excellent infrastructure facility, world-class laboratories, dedicated faculty members and dedicated faculty members means we are the highest number of PhD holders so that we can provide excellent education to the students and global placements. So these are all assured once a fellow visited Kalasalingam University he will definitely get a global exposure. The two-day science extravaganza was inaugurated by Dr. K. Sivan, an eminent scientist from ISRO. I appreciate that as an excellent effort by that university to bring the students and to make that science awareness, inducing the science awareness to the students, as well as to induce the research, the, the mind in their things is very fantastic. This particular university is targeting for creating that educational education in that rural area. This, they are always targeting at the rural students. The rural students uh, will not have an opportunity to that uh, facility like uh, our urban students in that internet and other things. So this type of exhibitions really is, uh, bring them to a platform that they can aware that many, many such things are available in the world. It's not the only thing, it's whatever we learn in the school is not the only thing, it's extra. So many things we have to do. That awareness it is creating. Around 5,000 school students from different parts of the country and rural districts of the state participated in this science carnival and their excitement was contagious on the campus. I strongly believe that the students from villages have creative mind creative innovation to bring up any kind of a new product. So I wanted them from those nearby areas, around 5,000 students have come up and participated in this event to bring up their uh, invention and their new idea to exchange, to interact with our faculty to come up with a new idea. We planned meticulously for, I mean, like uh, from December onwards. And then like we put like a lot of committees, we assigned work for them and then like uh, we advertised, we sent uh, materials to the schools and then like uh, so that like the students can up, I mean register and then they can come here. And our student volunteers were totally involved in this, like uh, they did most of the work.
one of the main attractions of the two-day science exhibition Arela 2015 at Kalasalingam University was the display of spectacular science models. Students from different streams like architecture, mechanical engineering, and civil engineering applied their knowledge to present solutions for a host of challenges. Our project is hydraulic lifting bridge. In this, uh, in this project, we are, com uh, we are completely different from the workshop mechanism of Palman Railway Bridge from uh, Kanyakumari. In this bridge, you can see hydraulic mechanism. It is completely different from uh, Palman Bridge. Uh, the basic concept is we are uh, introducing a pre-stressed concrete different from uh, bitumen road so that we can uh, in, uh, decrease the self-weight of uh, road. It can lift up and down by hydraulic pressure. Our students have been doing more of theoretical research. Okay, I mean confined to, I mean what is a research gap? What has been achieved and what is the, I mean uh, the gap that exists in the, the research area or in the uh, research domain and they just address it. Now, I'm sure after these two days of their I mean, uh, participation and looking at their uh, exhibits of their counterparts, they have realized that the research should be focused on the development of the society. The exhibition also showcased the efforts of students from the special BTEC program for speech and hearing impaired persons. Kalasalingam University has the distinction of being the first technical institute in Asia to offer special BTEC programs to differently abled students. Okay. The young school students were not far behind. They came up with their own novel take on some global issues like pollution, energy crisis and water shortage. More than 200 exhibits by the school students. We initiated them, motivated them to do something. Once we are very happy, we made them to think. That is the primary objective of this higher learning institution. We made them to think on science and technology. We did it. And not only that, the visitors, more than 5,000 students visited and they saw everything. The industrial experts, scientific things and Kudanglam projects and neutrino project. We made aware of them. We feel that it is our bound of duty. We did it in an excellent way. Many students benefited. We are very happy about it. Project this electricity from carbon dioxide dissolved in water. Factories release more carbon dioxide and it will cause respiratory problems, global warming and etc. We can send this carbon dioxide into a sealed water tank with water. When the carbon dioxide mixes with water, it will become a carbonic acid. Here we insert the copper rod and zinc rod that is positive and negative. When the carbonic acid enacts with copper and zinc rod, we can produce the electricity. We have to implement this project because our nation is more polluted. We have to keep the city green and clean. And talking about green and clean, students gave each other a stiff competition when it came to introducing futuristic solutions. My project is about the automatic chargeable solar battery lorry. This lorry is go without petrol and diesel fuel. It is go with it is go a uh, solar panel. We keep in the sunlight the solar panel gives energy and that energy we take and charging our battery. That uh, we, we put the switch the lorry will move. 
the the battery is charging means the four LED lights are burning. Then we put the switch the lorry will move. It is go without petrol and diesel fuel. It is save our money. It is not pollute the air pollution. Arila 2015 at Kala Salingam University was a two-day treat for all science buffs who poured in on the campus. I see so many things. I like science exhibition so much. I have I got many experiences from here. With science for nation building as the agenda, students participated in various activities. Through the elocution competition, these young minds put forth their views on the present-day challenges. We are conducting a lot of programs uh, other than science exhibition like uh, essay competitions, quiz, debate and uh, 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 elocution related to science. So like the students like they go, they explore, they prepare and then they come and present. As well as the science exhibition brings out talents uh, like uh, innovative uh, uh, talents which are present in the students. The highlight of the event was a video conference organized by the university for students and faculty for an exchange of ideas with illustrious scientists from Australia, South Africa and United States of America. I experience a lot from this institution because I am basically from a village as you know already and this institution they can uh, contact us with that scientist from uh, probably he is from an other country too and we can gain lot of knowledge. On the other side of the sprawling campus, young minds battled it out to win the quiz that tested their knowledge about all things science. And some reveal the secret to their success, encyclopedias. And then geography, science, and uh, about uh, creatures lived in before long. I have learned to some scientists, and uh, I have learned uh, some facts of bodies in the human, human bodies. The exhibition also saw the inauguration of a new composite materials laboratory at the university's state-of-the-art International Research Center, a facility that houses modern research equipment for students and faculty. One specific thing I noticed is some of the specific areas of research is required for technology development in India, mainly to bring India to the forefront. Is one such area is the material science. I have seen that here and I got impressed by the various types of material, how they are characterizing. It's really fantastic. I am sure that uh, this university researchers will be able to create some wonders. School students, on the other hand, were provided with their own space for a sensory experience of science, whether it be in a mobile van or a digital planetarium. We approached the Tamil Nadu Science State Science and Technology. Dr. I.M. Bermal, one director is there. He is closely associated with Kalasaling Ministry. We requested them and we got all permissions, this and that and everything. Because we feel that that will give you more impact. And all such kind of the Tunnel Valley Science Center also we invited them. So people, the digital India, you might have visited. The excellent feast to the people who are in search of knowledge. From science to portraits and landscapes, students were also treated to a photography exhibition at Arila 2015. The exhibition displayed pictures of monuments, architectural splendors and iconic symbols. And those who wanted to pick up a good read made their way to the book exhibition. Kalasalingam students and faculty have already obtained 36 patents with the university's support and these very patents were proudly displayed to encourage others to follow suit. 
from our uh, university uh, within this last two years we have registered nearly 36 uh, number of patents so maybe from our mechanical engineering department from we have registered 29 patents so out of which uh, everything is uh, helpful for the society so uh, taking the present uh, problem facing by our India maybe in power sectors and maybe in agricultural we are getting help from uh, each and every department since uh, we are not creating only the patterns related to mechanical engineering maybe we are creating pattern uh, related to electronics and communication as well as electrical engineering instrumentation engineering and maybe for computer science also it is an uh, interlinked uh, kind of uh, invention so that we are getting uh, uh, ideas from other department faculties also. 1.1% of carbon is C14. These two days provided students and faculty with a unique opportunity to interact with a team of scientists from Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research who discussed and dispelled doubts regarding nuclear power generation. Department of Atomic Energy always has laid a great emphasis on interaction with educational institutions and industries. Our idea has been that technologies, uh, there should be a coherent synergism between all the three if something has to emerge and be useful for the society also. Our thing is, radiations are not to be feared. Once it is taken care of by through appropriate safety precautions, etc., its beneficial applications to mankind is manifold. And there is a lot of research potential in this. Because if you take X-ray crystallography, you study the st crystal structure using X-radiations, etc. So I can probe the mysteries of the universe as well as the mysteries of mankind using radiations. And this holds a lot of potential. After two days of experiments, exhibits, quizzes, debates and interactions, Arila 2015 drew to a close with a grand ceremony. Science is the building block for any country to progress further. We are very happy to note that the younger generation of the country is not only inclined towards research, but also to make use of the research for the betterment of the mankind. Many made their way to the stage to collect their awards in various categories, while their friends cheered them on making this event a success. Definitely each and every student have their talent on their own. Kindly have interaction because this is an opportunity where you can have a various group of people exchange of ideas so that new ideas can come up and you can start find with your uh, come up with a budding engineer. Every children of the country uh, in course of their studies they will have that research aptitude. Tomorrow's problem if you look at every every problems looks new, every engineering problems are different. There are no common solution methodology for addressing those problems. So the kids has to be, I mean, uh, creative and look at the problems differently and uh, achieve unique uh, solutions. So this kind of exhibitions, I'm sure, will be able to, I mean, uh, do that job. Apart from spreading the message about the significance of scientific applications in our daily life, Arela 2015 has successfully sparked scientific curiosity in the young minds of its participants who are eager to participate next year. Music